we made this video for you. If you've been recently diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, or have been diagnosed for a while, if you know someone that's been diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, we made this video for you. You're not alone. We made this video for you. One in 10,000 people have been diagnosed with myasthenia gravis. It's pretty rare. So you probably have never met anybody with the disease. You probably never heard of it until your diagnosis. So we thought it would be nice for you to meet some folks living with myasthenia gravis. My name is Terry. I have myasthenia gravis and I was diagnosed eight years ago. My name is Ken. I have generalized myasthenia gravis. It affects my breathing and my swallowing. My name is Reba and I have ocular myasthenia gravis. My name is Henry and I have myasthenia gravis, but myasthenia gravis does not have me. I was diagnosed in February of 2015. My name is Michael. I was diagnosed with myasthenia gravis in 2008. My name is Alexis, and I was diagnosed 19 years ago. Hi, my name is Dawn, and I have myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis is called the snowflake disease because no two cases are alike. Your experience may be different, very different. Currently, there's no cure for myasthenia gravis, but with the proper care, the proper medications, you can live a good life. It may take several tries of different treatments for you to find what's right for you. But don't give up. Now here are some things we want to tell you. Number one. You're probably scared. We were too. We found each other and formed our own support group. There's resources available to help you live a full and productive life at myasthenia.org, which is the website for the Myasthenia Gravis Foundation of America. It really helps to be able to talk to someone with myasthenia gravis. If there's no support group in your area, reach out on social media. You can find one. It's not going to be hard. Number two. If possible, try to find a neurologist that has many myasthenia patients. That'll be very helpful to you. Learn as much as you can about myasthenia gravis and be your own advocate. Numero cuatro. Learn what to avoid. Knowing what makes your myasthenia worse is critical. Number five. Keep a positive attitude. We know what you're going through, and it really does help to stay positive every day. Here are some things that help us. And remember, your experience will be different from ours. My doctor has prescribed Rituxan for me, and it helps keep my myasthenia under control. Mestinon, prednisone, and Celsep. My doctor has prescribed Emuran and Mestinon for me. When I was first diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, I spent over a month in the hospital trying different medications. One of the things that did work well for me at the time was IVIG. That's an IV treatment that takes about eight hours to infuse. Thankfully, I'm in remission. One of the things that helped me get in remission was taking CBD oil and watching my stress. I also try to stay calm. I meditate and I learn not to sweat the little things. I also take walks and do acupuncture. I also occasionally do yoga and receive therapeutic massages. Here are some things that make us feel worse. I try to avoid stressful situations and extreme temperatures, whether hot or too cold. Heat, humidity, and bright lights are my downfall. We all are different, but we lead rich, full lives, and we hope you do too. Remember, strength is not measured by muscle power alone. Don't let your myasthenia get you down. Recently, my wife and I completed a 115-day cruise around the world. We all need a little help sometime, so reach out to us. If you're ever in the Atlanta area, we'd love to have you come to one of our support group meetings. We meet the first Monday of every month, except for July and September. You can read all about us at our website, mggeorgia.org. MG is never okay, but we can be okay together. Focus on the positives and celebrate the good days. My four Bs. Be your biggest advocate. Be involved in all of your decisions regarding your health. Be involved in a support group be sure to take your medication on time. If MG knocks you down, don't give up the fight. 
get back in the ring and show MG who's boss.